but at the start of the show, when we're talking about all the matches you had in St. Louis, I thought, I can't imagine you and Gene Kaniski. I mean, that's old school. So I looked it up and it was, uh, April 30th, 1982. Yeah. And it was for the NWA heavyweight title. Of course, yeah. this would have been your first run when you didn't think yeah. you were quite ready at the Keel auditorium in St. Louis, two out of three falls. Big thunder. That's what they called them. Gene Kaniski. I mean, you, two, six foot four, 271 pounds, uh, from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I mean, I, I, I've never seen that match obviously, but it's just hard for me to imagine those styles of it. And you had to do that with everybody, right? Oh God. You, you know, I'll tell you what he did. The giant swing was one of those moves and the St. Louis ring was bigger as you know, than any other rig anyway. And, um, the giant swing is where you put someone's well, like Cesaro does, right? Yes. Yes. And he threw me across the ring, you know, it's a huge ring and he ran and jumped on top of me. And this is the way the old timers talk. He said, legs it, you dumbass. Now I'm the champion. <laughs> like I didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> he was a machine, man. You talk about a guy that could go though, my God. No, I mean I wrestled them all. That's that's where sometimes it's not it's it's not just a joke. It's it's serious stuff when I talk about, you know, how embarrassing going back to that damn that uh stupid thing with Jim Hurd and uh and the Scorpion thing. That Oli and Jim Hurd, man, I mean, to this day, what were they thinking about? Yeah, it's uh, a crazy time in the business for sure. But you had some fun. 